for us, our most important segment of the day. <laughs> it's a company called Cuddle Clones. They actually take a photograph of your pet and they make it into a custom stuffed animal. Now, their website received so much traffic recently <laughs> that it had to go under construction. They actually got a new one. Cuddle Clones co-founder and CEO Jennifer Graham joins us now. Uh, you know, I got to tell you something, Jennifer. I saw this thing floating around on Twitter and I was amazed right out the gate because my wife wants to <laughs> stuff our dog. And I'm thinking this has got to be a lot cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a little bit cheaper than actually cloning your pet. <laughs> so how does it work? Well, uh, you visit our website, which is cuddleclones.com. And, you know, first, if you want to get a good idea on, you know, the product, you can visit our photo gallery and look at all the, all the cute pets that we've cloned. And then once you're ready, you just uh, order and you upload a bunch of pictures. You tell us how do you want it to be sitting, standing, lying down. And then you pick a few more options and tell us any special notes. And that's all you got to do. What's the uh, wait time? How long does it take before we get back a uh, our, our replica of our, of our family pet? We actually had to extend it due to the extreme amount of traffic we've had over the past few weeks. But right now you're looking at about six to eight months. Do people also write you letters? I mean, is there, there's a lot of sen sentimentality with this, right? I mean, people love their pets. They do. Um, you know, in fact, some people who can't order online like to submit their pictures via mail. Uh, we get thank you letters a lot of times, and, and we love getting pictures of the pets next to their cuddle clones. That's our favorite part of our day. It's Liz McDonald here. What are some of the funniest things that you have heard that your customers have done or, you know, done with, your cuddle, with their cuddle clones? Sure. Um, a couple of the interesting requests, and, and actually they're, you know, a little more common than you might think. Um, we've actually had some people send us actual fur from their beloved passed away pet, and they've actually put it into the cuddle clone. Uh, also, let's see, we've had some interesting animal requests. We did a bear body with a giraffe head one time, so we got a little bit creative there. And so we don't just do pets, we can pretty much clone any sort of random animal creation that you come up with. I meant